Remdesivir, a medication that could potentially treat the coronavirus, has compassionate youth results released lately. Stay tuned to learn more. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Edgeman and I enjoy making these videos about common questions patients have about medications or any healthcare related topic. So make sure you subscribe for more content. Now to the rest of the video. I'll link the study in the description below so you guys could refer to it. But this study consisted of patients who did not qualify for the main remdesivir trial, but still got remdesivir under a compassionate use. And because the study was not a randomized control study, meaning that it had no control group, nor did it have endpoints like main objectives of the study, a conclusive decision cannot be made based off whether or not remdesivir was effective in treating against coronavirus. However, it gives us a good idea of where the study might be leading to once the real results of the main clinical trial are released in a couple weeks. But we'll still go over the results in this video so you guys get a surface level idea of how this medication is working against treating coronavirus or COVID-19. The general condition for the patients enrolled in the study were severe, but they were not eligible to enroll in the main remdesivir trial. Instead, they got remdesivir through compassionate use. And the dose for remdesivir was 200 milligrams infused on day one, and then 100 milligrams infused once daily for up to 10 days. After treatment completion, Participants were followed up on day 28 by researchers to assess their severity of coronavirus or COVID-19. One way that these results were assessed was through a six-point ordinal scale, where one meaning not hospitalized, and as you go up the scale, it gets more worse in condition. There are a lot of results in the study, but we'll go over the main ones. The first one is, out of 53 patients, 84% of them showed clinical improvement after treatment of remdesivir by day 28. Now, how do they define clinical improvement? Going back to that ordinal scale I mentioned a few moments ago, clinical improvement was defined as a two-point decrease on that scale. So if a patient was considered to be a four on that scale, and after treatment remdesivir, they were a two, that is considered clinical improvement. Another result was that at day 18 follow-up, which is less than day 28 follow-up, 36 out of 53 patients showed improvement in the category of oxygen support. To reiterate, this was not a randomized control study, so a definite conclusion cannot be made on whether or not remdesivir is an effective treatment for coronavirus or COVID-19. When the results of the clinical trial comes out, then we can see whether or not this medication is effective because then we'll have a control group and an experimental group and we'll compare the differences in those two groups to see if remdesivir was actually making a difference in treating these patients with coronavirus. And of course, when the main remdesivir clinical trial results are released, I'll make a video of it and I'll go over the results and their findings so we get an understanding of whether or not remdesivir can actually help treat patients with the coronavirus or COVID-19. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and learned something new. If you guys did, please give me a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.